Hey everyone, we are in line for the Venetian Express and we came across a pretty cool product. Uh, Ray is going to tell us uh, a little bit about it right now. He's from AnyBox, located in Mountain View, California. Awesome. Uh, well, hi. Yeah, This is uh, our, our, our flagship product. It is the AnyBot QB. That is a telepresence robot. Uh, the idea is you can set it up in a remote location that you need to be at but don't want to go to. Uh, and instead of hopping on a plane uh, and losing a bunch of time, uh, both you know the expense of travel and the, the lost productivity, you can just log into the robot. Uh, it is controlled uh, with a browser plugin for Firefox. It, you can drive it around with the arrow keys. It couldn't be any simpler. For you gamers out there, uh, WSAD uh, is how, how I control it. Put on your headset. You see what it sees through the uh, uh, the video camera here. It's a laser pointer to uh, point out objects and interact with them in the real world. Uh, microphones all around the head of the robot. Uh, its motive system is uh, it, it auto balances on two wheels, uh, uh, much like the Segway. It's pretty much the, the observation everybody makes. Uh, it has a, uh, a lidar system in it to help uh, uh, navigate away from obstacles. Right. Uh, specifically, it, it is uh, sort of like a, a driving assistant. It won't jerk the wheel away from you. Right. But if you're Heading towards an object, it will just sort of smoothly turn you away, and you'll think you did. But uh, they are uh, they're in production now. We, we start shipping uh, on February first. Uh, it is uh, uh, this model is uh, going to be fifteen thousand uh, dollars, and we have a, another model coming up in March, which is going to be pretty similar but with better better audio hardware in the head, specifically louder, um, so it can uh, you know be heard in, a, in an environment like this. Let me ask you, uh, what technology? Is there like obstacle avoidance? So yeah. We have uh, uh, down here this guy that looks like a gas cap. Uh, this is our LiDAR system. And it basically lets it know if there are any objects, solid objects in front of it. Uh, if there are and somebody is driving it, it will both slow down and turn to avoid them. Uh, we have... I'm trying to think what else can I talk about in the room running here. The, oh, oh, it's uh, you connect to it over Wi-Fi. Uh, as long as you have uh, uh, the location you want to set it up in, as long as you have a good Wi-Fi connection, that's all you need. Uh, right out of the box, you uh, use a touch screen to uh, configure your, your Wi-Fi settings, sort of like you, you see here. So if people are able to see you, would you also be able to see what this guy's? Oh yeah, yeah, right through here. Uh, it, it is basically uh, you go to anybots.com, log in. You'll see a list of any all the robots you have access to, little thumbnails, right. th thumbnails of what the camera sees. Click the thumbnail for the robot you want that will log you in. Then you'll have a big drive screen, which is everything this guy sees. Uh, I think there's actually a, 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 a review of us up on uh, G4. Uh, they, 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 they did a live event with us a couple of days ago. Uh, so you can go to G4 TV and see that. So, I mean, the target audience here, again, would you mind? So, the main situation that you guys see this, um, the, the market, is, is what again? Well, the, the, the easiest sell is uh, frequent business travelers. Uh, the, if you have to travel a lot, this is going to save you time and money. There's, 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 no, there's no way around it. Uh, they say the average business trip costs $1,000. Uh, that seems a little low for me, but sure. even so, uh, if that's the case, 15 of those trips and it's paid for for the rest of your life. Um, it is, it is, yeah. The, the, we have interest from people in uh, security fields, uh, medical fields, uh, in-home elderly care. So, you know, you set up a robot and you know, check on grandma or something. Sure. Uh, it's not good for, I mean, you can't, you can't dole out medication. Right. But, if you needed to just make sure somebody took their medication or anybody had therapy that could be helped just by being talked to, this is a really great option. You can just put in a robot, like Trevor keeps a robot in his house. Uh, if he's, uh, like here, if he wants to talk to his kids, he can log into his robot and drive around. Our uh, executive assistant here, uh, Suzanne, who's right behind you, works from home every day. Uh, when somebody comes into the office, she'll log into a robot, drive up to the door, buzz them in, give them a tour of the facilities, and she gets to spend her whole day with her family. Uh, right, that's great. So let me ask you, so if you're a business traveler, um, would you would the prereq would the prerequisite be that someone has an anybody at you know that particular business conference or so? Well, like, in, in that scenario, yes. The, our, our basic idea is we once you have somebody that needs to travel a lot, or if you have a location that people are frequently traveling to, that's where you put the robot, and now they don't need to travel. There. Um, we have a uh, uh, one of our units is set up at the, at a, the headquarters of a, another another company located in Mountain View. Uh, that has a location overseas. Their CEO went to visit that overseas location for a five-week trip, right. and he flat out told us he would never have made that trip if he didn't have the Anybot back in the main office. So if anything came up, he could log into the office, and he, he was right at all there. his meetings, right. even though he was in Russia. Awesome. Uh, the same thing with our our our, uh, our VP of sales didn't miss our big he didn't miss our big okay. team meeting when he was in uh, South Korea. He Very just good. logged into our robot. Very cool. Put it. In.
the, uh, he's got a little tripod that comes out of the back to, uh, so we call it sit mode. Right. And this is, if you left it balancing and logged out, forgot to put it on its charge station, this is the last thing it'll do before it runs out of battery. So it'll extend its tail and it'll just relax and sit down. Cool. You're awesome. Spot you can't write on it. No. Actually, our, uh, uh, Scott, the uh, gentleman who did the industrial design, sort of intentionally designed it in a way that it doesn't look like there are any convenient places to stand because it, it couldn't it couldn't handle it. So what do you do with it? Uh, uh, remote presence. Uh, if you 